When a disaster claims lives, finding and rescuing the survivors becomes the highest priority. One of the biggest um, things, uh, first of all, that we would like to do is any type of walking wounded. We really want to get that people or those that group of people out of there as quickly as possible, so we can start focusing on the the more immediate uh, patients that are are badly injured. During the Vigilant Guard exercise in Phoenix, Arizona, California National Guard troops from the 235th Engineer Company performed search and extraction missions in the aftermath of a nuclear attack. Hit the ground. We sent out a recon team that went through the area, checked everything out. Um, identified the uh, incident commander's objectives and how we're going to accomplish his objectives. Uh, so we, when they were done, we sent out three teams. Over here, you see the breaching and breaking team, and they have a and this was a collapsed structure that uh, had some concrete fall and there's some victims trapped inside so they have to go through with their pneumatic tools and break through the concrete using the, uh, you see this wood they have over here. And that's to shore up or stabilize their hole they're, they're creating. And once it's uh, stabilized, they can send in one of their, um, their extractors to find space entry with the medic. Equipped with air filtration devices, protective gear, and heavy tools, the teams evacuated dozens of casualties in different situations. So they see what they're doing, they're taking rope and they're tying it off to other um, anchor points on the rope and using um, uh, the tow systems to stabilize the vehicle, uh, wood for cribbing if they need to, and then they'll go in and actually extricate the victim and bring them over to the um, decontamination line. While millions went on about their business in the nation's sixth most populated city, these soldiers and airmen prepared to keep them safe. The injuries that they, they produce out here in, in simulation are... Things are, that you would see in real-world Yeah, world you would situations. see in real-world situations. It's a real-world situation that the National Guard prepares for, but hopes will never come. In Phoenix, Arizona, for the 69th Public Affairs Detachment, I'm Sergeant Rich Stowell.